We, we are here this morning with John Connolly, who is the CEO of Interblock, the leading provider of electronic table games, which continues to be an emerging segment of the gaming industry. So John, welcome today. Thank you for having me, appreciate it. Uh, we, um, uh, just give us a quick update, it's been a busy year, on what Interblock has accomplished since, say, the last G2E, and what you're looking to accomplish in the next year or so. Well, you and I always talk every year about uh, are we interested in perhaps doing some sort of transaction as a company, and uh, two, three months ago, we finally sold the company, uh, which was you know, big news for our organization, to a private equity firm, Oak Tree Capital. So very excited about that, having them as our new owners, and um, I've continued on to stay with them uh, as the CEO, so we're, we're now uh, entering a new chapter of the company's uh, trajectory, 25 years and counting, and I'm excited about that. Um, and I think this year is going to really be a year of, I think, stabilizing the company from a growth perspective. We've been growing at over 20% compounded annual growth rate for five plus years. So rounding that out, building out the team, hopefully by the end of 22, positions us in 2023 with Oak Tree and, and all the things that private equity bring you uh, to, to look at some, some perhaps some peripheral expansion of our company. We're, uh, I, think, I think that by the end of next year, if we're not online, we, we should be. Uh, for online gaming, um, and so we're looking heavily at to, as to how best to expand the company in that direction. Okay, great. Uh, your ownership has always been an interesting one, a Slovenian, I believe, entrepreneur, um, and now you've got one of the best known private equity groups interested in gaming, so congratulations. Thank you, that. thank you very much. Uh, one of the things that we know about electronic gaming, uh, table games, is they continue to grow rapidly. And Interblock continues to be the number one provider. And when we look at survey results, such as, we'll say, Eilers Fandini, and you look at the top performing ETGs, it's Interblock, 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 Interblock. Is there anybody else out there? <laughs> uh, how do you intend to maintain that success? You don't sleep very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I think it, it really comes down to, uh, you know, um, first and foremost, the team and the employees within Interblock. Uh, we've built, you know, five years ago when I joined, we were around, give or take, 150 employees um, six years ago, and today we're broaching 700. So when you wake up each day and you've got 700 experts that are focused on one thing, it makes your life... Uh, more simplistic. Uh, then it's just a question of getting, getting those uh, amazing employees and talent focused, prioritized, um, and maintaining the innovation that Interblock's known for. So I'm, I'm more really just a, on the periphery, uh, helping the team clear, clear the path for what they do best. So hopefully this year's G2E will, will continue that reputation and momentum relative to uh, electronic table games. Well, that's all very good, and I'm sure it's true you have a great group of employees that carry the ball for you, but you still need the guys at the top who provide strategic vision. Uh, and we're, we are dealing in a world where technology changes by the nanosecond. Uh, you mentioned going online. Maybe another way to ask the question is strategically, uh, what do you see in the future if you're looking two, three, four years down the road? for Interblock and maybe for your segment of the industry? That's a great question. Um, you know, the industry does evolve quickly, especially now more so than ever. I, I think relative to electronic table games, I, you know, I, we talk internally, we're still around 1% of the North American casino floor, whereas if you look at Asia, it's double digits. So I think the organic growth of Interblock and the propensity of players to look and demand uh, new forms of technology continues to grow. So North America and, and the other parts of the world, um, you know, we don't see that slowing down. So we're just, we're spending a lot of our time really in two ways. One, 
evolving our, our existing platform and infrastructure around the world, our products on the casino floors, trying to yield those up. And this year at the show, I would say half of our innovation is about upgrading uh, existing products that you've seen um, with new technology, to your point, and with a new approach to garner more handle and more you know, uh, hold for the casinos. And so very excited about that. The second part is, is continuing the innovation and subsets of what we find works. We're, we're very much data driven. We, we have a, a very large uh, analytics team. Uh, we've broached the, the use of AI, uh, which is the first time for our company to really guide us in our roadmap as to where we need to invest. So I think that part will continue to unfold and evolve. Um, but what I do see maybe in the very near future, it's already starting to happen, is the online world and the traditional casino world are gonna become more closely knit. Um, I, I think when you look at some of the major operators in North America and their strategy as to how to bridge players and how to make it seamless for players, whether they're online or on a casino floor, and to have a similar experience, maybe even an integrated experience, um, I think we, we would like to be part of that. And uh, we're spending a lot of time now um, coming up with some solutions, such as, as an example, um, the live streaming of table games, um, which is, be, you know, is obviously a very large of segment of the, of the casino industry online. And Interblock has yet to take its portfolio of products and technology and offer that online. So the ability to stream um, our innovation with the casinos and offer that to the online space, I think gives our customers, our partners, a strategic advantage over those that perhaps um, would not be able to do such, such an offering. Um, so I, I think that that bridge um, and before that distinct two segments of the gaming industry, I think are becoming much more um, integrated and, and I don't think that's gonna stop. Is another word for that evolution, metaverse? Metaverse. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. It's definitely being discussed more now than ever. Um, I think that's, I think that I would say there's probably a few phases in between here and there. Um, and I'm, I'm always cautious because the industry is moving so quickly in some ways. And then in other ways, the industry moves quite slowly due to regulations and, and protecting, protecting our licenses. Um, we're, we're probably at this point uh, much more focused on a couple phases in between to to try and support our customers and evolve our company, um, and quite frankly, provide our players um, the ability to uh, enjoy Interblock, not just on the casino floor, but online, and how they access that online. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to others. One of the things that Interblock has done, maybe better than any other company, perhaps, is branding. I mean, when you walk into a casino and you see that black and red and you see that IV logo, everybody knows, including people who, who aren't even regular casino uh, patrons. You know, that, that's that inner block. Uh, I, I guess the following thing, and, and this is a question we talked about prior to our interview of starting a few minutes ago, is you still have a lot of folks who have never sat down at an electronic table game. And you mentioned the ability to be a, the potential to be a double digit business, uh, a market share business in the United States. Uh, what are you doing to get that, educate that more casual, if that's the right word, casino patron? Um, always room for improvement, always. Uh, but I think, you know, COVID was a catalyst for us in, in which we couldn't have foreseen, where when live table games closed, a lot of players who had never tried a, an electronic table game or any form thereof came over, experienced it, and then ended up staying, enjoying it uh, for a lot of different reasons. So I think the environment itself of the casino industry um, and technology, as you pointed out, is pulling in a certain type of player regardless. 
what we try to do to exemplify that is, you know, for example, our love seats. Um, the ability of two people to sit down and, and have somewhat of a captured environment to learn, uh, to experience um, uh, our product or this type of technology in the gaming segment. Uh, we are seeing more and more and more um, proliferation of people that never would have come up to a table game due to intimidation or fear. Um, and sitting down and trying roulette, trying blackjack, learning about craps, which is one of the more intimidating games. Um, so I think there's, there's a culmination of new players that have always wanted to try, that are learning, and then there's the players that are traditional table game players, even from the online space. Because if you play table games online, it's quite fast. It's dynamic. And when you go on the casino floor to sit at a table with a traditional live dealer, that's not for everybody. Um, so we've, we've spent a lot of time the past five years really diversifying our product portfolio horizontally and vertically, meaning the number of products we offer, but then the way we distribute our products um, vertically is, is infinitely greater today. We, we use live dealers, but we, we provide live dealers with technology. Um, or we do it in an, a video format with no live dealer or mechanical. Uh, at this year's gaming show, maybe I'm skipping forward to your next question. but That's good. That uh, is the next question. What, <laughs> new? what must people see at your show this year? Yeah, something new. We, you know, we've categorized our company uh, most recently as, you know, stadium technology, which is very social. We install a stadium on average about every 10 days, um, over 160 in North America now, um, which, is, which was something very uh, surprising to us when we started five years ago that this would turn into what it is. Uh, so that's one area. We have standalone products, which are our mechanical roulettes and video blackjack. And then we've launched our universal cabinet, which is a single, um, you know, a, the ability of, of one or two players in a love seat to play their own game in a more solitary environment. At this year's G2E, we're gonna launch a fourth category. And we've, essentially use technology to take a traditional live table game pit, same square footage, keep it as it is, same dealers. But we're gonna provide those dealers a new level of technology to allow them to generate more handle, achieve more side bets, more house advantage for the casinos, a uh, better entertaining experience for the players. And so, because when we looked at the the business in the casino floors, there was still a, a segment of the of the players that were going to traditional table games and not playing any of our other three categories. And we said, well, there's obviously a demographic out there that wants to be at a table game closer to that to that individual. Casinos are yielding up those tables to about $25 where they can because they're trying to make more money for labor costs, labor shortages. So we said, we'll use technology um, to help that dealer find a way to, to generate more handles. So I won't give away the secret sauce here in the interview, right. but um, we'll have several products that do that. Great, great. That's a really good overview, John. Uh, anything else you would like folks t uh, in closing to know about Interblock? No, I just think that it's um, very happy to be the CEO of, of such a dynamic company with so many great employees and so many, and so many uh, operators around the world that have really supported us. I mean, five, six years ago, I ran into a lot of friends of mine that were like, what's an ETG? Right. Um, and six years later, you know, thanks to the, you know, the, uh, the industry and, and a lot of individuals within it, we, you know, they supported us and, and here we are today and, and have a very fortunate to have a, a very good company. We're, we're looking forward to growing. Sounds like a great story. John, thank you. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate it.